Good morning. Oh, need a bit of maintenance. I realized yesterday that Orma is getting a bit hot. So, Orma gets a little bit of water. There was a lot of water missing. Ah, not a liter, but I put in about three quarters of a liter. <laughs> it was about time yesterday when I was going to the uh, to for dinner oh, and had a pizza, which was quite nice. Uh, I realized it was getting really hot, so I decided to look it up today. And yeah, I was just in time, I think, because today is going to be very sunny and hot again. And yeah, the day yesterday going through the, the, the park was really was was tough and was hot, and and so but she did brilliant, she did brilliant, Urma did brilliant. And yeah, well, now we go on. Again, another dog. Yeah, just gonna show you quickly where I'm gonna go today. Okay, I changed my plan because I want to go down to Shuaia as fast as possible. And I'm still in our Gobernador Gregores and I'm going to Rio Gallegos. Uh, hit the three here and go down there. That's the plan. And here we go. bit boring going around and today actually there is no wind so it's brilliant to go uh, uh, through the straits to the other side of the of the country and since I'm here there we go ride hard and travel gentle baby <laughs> oh. well it's the middle of freaking nowhere. Huh. Ah, Orma, isn't she beautiful? Good one. Well, this should be actually a palm tree, but I haven't seen a palm tree since I've been uh, well, 1,500 kilometers up north in Chile. Oh, well, well. Here we go again. Uh, the tank full of gas. I got bread, salami, some queso. And now, uh, next stop, Rio Gallego. Uh, no more is about the kilometers now. hours only through desert and straight oh, need a break and I get a break yeah <laughs> they are looking when I goes well in the beginning I still like him 
in the beginning I was very excited to see one and now I saw thousands oh, unbelievable oh, so time for a Sigi It was a close one. Uh, I just made uh, uh, about 400 kilometers with the last tank and with the last gas. No gas at all. Then I made it into Chile again. And uh, now I found this little gas station here. And it's getting later and later. It's starting to rain. And uh, yeah, I saw flamingos today. <laughs> Uh, I just made it barely. Then I almost broke off my the, the, the ignition key uh, when I wanted to open the tank. So almost, almost, it's it's it's, it's got a little cut in, but I got a separate key with me. But the separate key is underneath the seat, and to get in the seat, I got to open uh, uh, the lock of the seat, and <laughs> it almost broke again. But everything is good. Everything is fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm again lucky. Good morning. I just woke up in my tent. And uh, as you can see there, the sun is coming out and I'm sleeping in a tent here in Terminal San Gregorio at the gas station because uh, I was really tired yesterday. I did about 550 kilometers and ran almost out of gas but made it to the gas station and the guy here at the gas station said I could set up my tent here. So here I am, and on the map, uh, you see it's right here. This is where I am now. Almost down in Ushuaia, and now I go back here, going to Tierra del Fuego, to Feuerland, and then across back into Argentina. Here at San Sebastian. Go down via Rio Grande and go to Ushuaia. And in Ushuaia, gonna stay about, yeah, I think like five days and explore a whole fireland, see the penguins over here. And this is the plan to today to go to Ushuaia and get a nice hotel there or hostel here yeah, because I really made it down fast. See, uh, two days ago I was up here in the Parque Nacional de Patagonia, up here in Chile. and. Oh, I did about yeah 900 kilometers yesterday and uh, day before yesterday. Yeah, that's the plan for today. Here's my tent, well, a bit messy, but I just threw everything in there and uh, uh, put myself to uh, not put myself to sleep, but <laughs> I, yeah, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, before coffee, uh, can't really think about it. So have coffee and then see you on the road. Yeah, everything is packed. Everything is running. Hit the <laughs> well, not anymore. Ah, on the way to Ushuaia. Let's go. Look at this weather. It's brilliant. Ciao, gracias. Ciao, ciao. Abundant ships. I like the look of it. <laughs> the whole place is abundant. I like abundant places. There is no people. <laughs> Hello. I love those places. Rusty. Oh, look, it even got a wooden. I don't know how you call it, it's called Bug in German, but I don't know the way name in English. Awesome. Like an old whale. Brilliant. 
Yeah, I can't even post these pictures on the video. Should be in there right now. I'm now leaving the American continent. We're going down to Tierra del Fuego. Which means uh, I'm very close to the beginning of my tour. Woohoo! Feuerland! <laughs> I love it. Brilliant. As usual, I didn't plan anything. I didn't book a ticket or something, so I don't even know if I get a ticket. Let's see. La 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 la. Usually I'm lucky, you know. <laughs> you know, I know, you know. It all looks good. Don't need a reservation. Uh, yeah. Uh, soon I'll be leaving the American mainland. <laughs> yeah. I feel great. I feel awesome. Very important freight right in front of the truck there getting on the barker right now. Full of beer. Fireland needs beer. And this there? The Tierra del Fuego. <laughs> and I'm in the middle. to get in I don't have any food or something else for me that's always the problem in Chile because I usually forget that I have ham or a sausage or something else well let's see put it right here there you go With the help from a guy from Poland, we repaired it and ah, back on track. Yeah, we are in Rio Grande, in the hostel, the end of the world. Going with Pablo today. Hey. 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 Up to 
Ushuaia. Thank you, Rio Grande. This is Pablo. Super nice people in a pandoria, panaderia, in <laughs> Hello, hello. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we've just made a little pause at the panaderia, and now we're on the way back or the way on to Shuaia. Señor Pablo! <laughs> oh, and now we're coming to the only village on the other side, Argentinian village on the other side of the Andes. There's only one. And this is Ushuaia. Whoa! 